Hey everyone, and how are you doing? Welcome to today's latest mix of build videos that I create for your enjoyment. Today's build is using the Battle Coin of Free Switch Axe, a highly and well regarded Switch Axe that is capable of chaining paralysis onto a monster one after another. And today I present my build that optimizes the skill well and make you a true team asset for everyone and anything you face. I call this set the Focus Paralysis set. Now, this weapon is highly rated for its built in double paralysis morphing option that, if you don't currently know, allows you to pull off and do more paralysis build up over time compared to other paralysis based weapons. So, in your normal axe form, you can paralyze a monster like so, or if you morph into your amp sword mode, then you can paralyze a monster again like so. Basically, this weapon is designed around allowing you to focus on purely stopping monsters' movement no matter what form you're currently in, which is quite rare to see on some switch axes and a lot of weapons. But this is great for build focusing around one specific skill as you don't have to worry about building around two different statuses or two different effects. It's all in one weapon so really it kind of limits it down to certain skills and frees up whatever room you want to add in so you can add in more attack, maybe more defensive skills or maybe more focus on healing. Now in my case I've had this weapon quite a while but I've never really expanded on it simply because there was a similar much better version of this weapon called the Tower of Axe Paralysis. And many of you may have already heard of this unique and highly chased after weapon, which is literally the same as the Bath Grinder Switch Axe. Well, kind of. However, what makes this weapon a tad better is the fact that it has zero affinity. So, no minuses, just zero. Quite clear. So, you can actually improve on affinity from there. 150 more paralysis than our base weapon has, including add ons, a power file for doing more damage, and free 30 plus defense. And yet, when compared to the Battle of Corona Switch Act, which has some of the lesser extended pros, they're both on par in terms of utility as they both do a good job of stopping monsters' movements, both do average good damage, and the tower version isn't something you have to have, as the Battle version is on par or in many ways kind of better, except for the small changes. So since RNG has forsaken me from getting it and many others, and since RNG refuses to drop it for me so I can compare the two, I stuck with the latter. And create this set based around a non stop paralysis build up build that allows you plenty of room to do extra damage on the monster while continuously paralyzing them over and over again. So, for skills, I wanted the following I wanted the handicraft 4 so I can make use of the low blue sharpness threshold my weapon has, as although the weapon has quite a large margin for green sharpness, this can and will be burnt through relatively quickly. Alternatively, you can add a sharp jaw onto the weapon to help with negating sharpness completely for a set period. I'll make way for other skills, but this is kind of up to you to play around with it first, see how it feels, and if you feel like you're going through the sharpness too quickly, slap on the sharp jaw. If you feel like you're doing good, okay, and you manage to kill monsters without it hitting yellow sharpness, then keep how you got it. Next we have Health Boost 3. This is a skill you don't have to add on, but it's nice to have when you're going up against a monster and nothing goes as planned, and trust me, majority of fights for you guys, it doesn't ever go planned. This is also here as a filler spot, so like I said, you don't have to use the skill, you have plenty of other level 1 tier skills you can use to fill in instead. Next we have Paralysis Attack 3. This skill increases the paralysis buildup that my weapon produces from both its axe and more form. So more paralysis equals more downtime for the monster. Next we have Free Element 3. This is pretty self explanatory, but this is needed to unlock the weapon's hidden status, or else we will only be powering this monster in our axe form. Next, we have Weakness Exploit 3 that helps with adding on extra damage upon weak points, and is beneficial skill that nearly every build or set you create will, in some way, have. Next, I chucked on the Evade Extended 3, which helps out with covering ground very quickly and repositioning myself. Now, you don't have to go with Evade Extended 3, as 2 is just enough, and by doing so, it leaves you with a free level 2 star or whatever you want to add in. So, in my case, I would have added in Maximum Might Jewel if I have extra space. If not, if you've got something else, chuck it in. Whatever is fine. Next, I've added in Recovery Up 2, which, just like the health boost, is a filler spot that I decided to make full use of and pair with my health og on my weapon, so that every time I hit a monster, I'll get more health back upon hits. And lastly, we have Maximum Might 2, which helps with negating the minus affinity our weapon has, and practically allows us to add on an affinity og to thus put it into the positive range. Overall, this set will provide you with an attack rating of 788, defense of 422 and your paralysis for both forms at 370 and 330, which equates to 37 and 33 per hit. I've also augmented my weapon to have health and an affinity bonus, so I can make the weapon more viable in different fights. 
This should leave you with one single ult slot left for you to add in whatever you like, as this weapon is already 6. So adding on a attack, a no an extra affinity, or another health og can always benefit you the best. Now the set is perfectly designed for either group or solo play, and depending on what you face, it will allow you to pull off paralysis after paralysis on monster. Which, if solo based, means you can run through monsters within a few minutes without ever being touched, if you're that skilled. Which is great, as if you're in a rush and the monster you face is really weak to the status, then this is the best choice to run with. Now, try this out against monsters like Raytheon or Rathlos, or even better Diablos, and you see what I mean by them not being able to move around so freely with the paralysis build up. At best, you'll be able to pull off 2 to 3 paralysis on a monster, depending on their weakness threshold. But that should be enough, as by the time you pull off a second paralysis, the monster will be retreating back to their lair, because they're at this point near death. Now in groups, this weapon still does wonders, and it's always welcoming for those that are taking on tough monsters, such as Arc Tempered Val. However, one thing you need to be aware of is that the standard status threshold increases when in group play, so you may need to do more hits to get the effect rolling, or better off, pray that you get paired up with another player that's using paralysis as well. That way then, it will speed up the paralysis process. In this case, I would recommend you use the Apothecary Mantle to help trigger the build-up status more often as well, if you struggle to get active. Now, that is an alternative, but if you're someone that wants to stick with, uh, say for example, you're using a Rocksteady and Temporeal Mantle, by all means, go ahead and use it still, because either way, even if you don't use that other mantle, you'll still be able to build up paralysis onto a monster easily, as long as they're relatively weak to it. If they're 3 or 2 star, you'll be able to build it up really quickly. If they're 1 star, then at best, you'll probably be able to pull it off, or you may not. It, it really does depend on monsters sometimes. But, overall, there you have it. A build design around stopping monsters' movements easily and within a few hits. And considering a highly looked upon set for those that mean business, when enough is truly never enough. If you're like me, who doesn't have the Tauf Axe version of this weapon, then look no further and use this as an alternative, as it truly is a unique weapon in the making, that I find quite odd that a lot of people sleep on. If you enjoyed the content then do leave a like, a sub, and also do press the bell button to stay always updated to when I upload, as I would appreciate it a lot if you do. But like always, thank you for watching, and I do hope to see you again soon.